Hi, good evening, sir. How are you this evening? All right, how are you? I'm so blessed. Thank you for kindly. Uh, this is Mr. Woodman, the gentleman that called the other night and I spoke with I spoke with one of the kind weathermen there. Yeah, I believe you spoke to Robert. Well, that's so nice. You guys are really nice, man. Look, honestly, I know you do quite some quirks that call, and I hope that uh, my academic expressions and your perception of my cognitiveness that uh, I'm a reasonable person, I gave my social security number and everything. I happen to be a man of God who serves in the office of prophet. Now, that don't mean I'm Nostra Thomas coming with no doom. You see, that's what I want to make sure that you guys didn't get. You may be misunderstood, you know, and I want to make sure that you knew that I only wanted to share with you that God knows what's going on, and sometimes we need to look up a little bit as a country and a nation. People are getting killed. Kids are killing congressmen. And you other men, you bring us all together. We all sit on here to listen to what you say. And so when the birds and the fish drop, God told me why. And I stand on it. I want to be misproven. Because I want to be proven as a serious human being and a person who would even dare to face this kind of reproach and mockery if I have said something that is not true. And this is why I call back today just to see how do I do well, I, I didn't talk to you the other day, but I'm, I'm fine. I know I'm sure everything was fine. Uh, Robert's actually here tonight if you wanted to say something else to him. Oh, man. Hey, that's you nice. he was okay with everything that Hey, I like Robert, man. Robert, cool. Hey, may I ask Robert's ethnicity? Uh, I'm sorry? What is Robert's ethnicity? And even if he isn't, he's very familiar with the Afrocentric culture because he spoke language that I understood very well. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, he's Caucasian. Hey, he said he was a killer with no pussy. That's a, a song, it's a metaphorical term. Uh, and maybe he made it about the two guys. And the reason I make this mention to you, sir, not to keep talking long, I know you're busy. I just had a good warm down the earth conversation with an intelligent man. And I got an eighth grade education. And y'all got down on the ground and helped me understand the weather. And I appreciate it. Hey, that's what we're here for. That's our job. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, no Thank problem. You. Hey, have a great okay, night. Can I speak to Robert? Oh, sure. Sure. Hold on one second. Okay. okay. Four hours a day from the National Weather Service office in Slidell, Louisiana. Our transmitter is located in New Orleans, Louisiana. These are the 7 p.m. Central Standard Time observations for the local area on Sunday, January 23rd at New Orleans International Airport. Partly cloudy. Temperature 50 degrees. Hey, Robert, how are you, man? I'm just fine. How are you? I'm got good, man. I just wanted to call back. You know, I'm in the city, but my grandmother was from Starkville, Mississippi. And uh, they called me Southern Hospitality that like y'all have down there in Baton Rouge and in Louisiana and New Orleans, all of our Southern Coast, Southern Hospitality. And I just want to call back and say thank you for listening to an eighth grader inquire of the weather. I'm not sure if which uh, weatherland you are, Robert, because I spoke to two of you gentlemen. One I spoke to about what happened, and the second one I spoke to about I was how high did the wind go up. I was, I was the one you recorded. Well, I recorded both of you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you know why, Robert? People think I'm a fool. And when you do something like this, call you guys. I know this is not the same. When you, when you say you're in the ministry and God has showed you something, God shouldn't always be showing his men how to take the big piece of chicken from his people because they're the men of God. God should be showing the men of God something that could make him look like a fool if he said God said it. He did it. You see? It's simple. And I'm a stupid eighth grader. Mm, I'm not an eighth grader anymore. You've been an eighth grader, grader, grader in 40 something years. I'm 51 year old eighth grader. I graduated Nagnam Kulati in 1974 from Enright Middle Eighth Grade Academy. Okay. And I looked at the high school and I hit my joint and said, I'm not doing 
feet and I left. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, but I have been trained in life. Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, it ain't fair anymore. You get the wisdom of life. Well, you're so kind of you, Robert. God bless you. You know what, man? That's why I like weather See, weather men have a sense of not only globalness, but they have a sense of spirituality and eternality from their studies of the oldest ancient art among men is the Magi from Babylon who studied the astronomy, not the astrology. The movements and the synergies of the geometrical planes of the universe. And I just, I, I really do, man, because it, it just keeps us all, you guys are the nicest people I've met, man, and I've talked to so many academicians, lawyers, judges, politicians, and I have not, I have met any academician more balanced than a weatherman. Well, that's a humbling profession. We don't always get it right, but that always keeps us humble. Will you verify that uh, for me that I as an eighth grader called and tried to present myself with academic intelligence and my social security number and took a chance on not asking for the big fish and chicken, but just to say God told me something, step up and let's battle out here and see if you can beat an eighth grader. Didn't I come to you with that? I don't know. You're saying beating him. And it was, I don't think nobody was in a battle. It's metaphorical terms now. Yeah, no, no, I don't think was in a battle. You was asked, you was in court. It's not a battle like me. Well, I wanted to show that I had the courage. I had the courage to stand and ask my federal government and the trusted people that it has, has screened and put on the watch on our shores for the storms coming to our seas, the trade winds, the cross, that dreary Atlantic Sea that bore the slaves of my ancestors. That's why I love you guys so much. I do. And you people may think I'm crazy, but I love America. <laughs> yeah, hey, you guys have a nice night down there. And you certified that I called and spoke with you. Yep. Thank you so much, Robert. Hey, tell everybody I said, don't go to sleep. Keep on watch. <laughs> well, you're at 24 hours, so somebody's always up here. Oh, right now. God bless you, now. Right. You too. It's a wheelchair profit. I'm out. Bye. All right, son, you can.